It is a topic no one wants to talk about, but when it happens at work, almost everyone will be affected. It might be heart disease, cancer, stroke, an accident, or maybe even a suicide. All eyes will be on the leader. Get a critical incident responder to intervene on site or virtually in the first few days after employees have been told. Timing can be critical. A licensed professional will help workers understand and normalize symptoms that can include shock, inability to concentrate, difficulty solving problems, and anger. Some people may even feel guilt because maybe they said no to spending time with the person who died or they had a disagreement with him or her. Working from home has made things a bit more complicated. Some people find grief more tolerable because they can walk across the hall and speak to a loved one, while others are home alone. In addition, workers may see changes in eating and sleeping patterns. After getting the news, some people might not sleep well or they may lose their appetites. Also, the new workplace means people may be scattered around the country. A funeral or other services may not be reachable. If you are a leader, your direct reports are looking to you for guidance. You don't need to be a grief therapist, but you do need a critical incident responder. I'm Bill Prasad, your mental health and wellness expert.